Okay, so as we start our new unit on polynomials, which in our book is in unit seven, we are skipping units five and six for now, as are the high school. Um, polynomials is what we're gonna be working with for the next few weeks. So I want us to start off with a pretty good definition that we can refer back to. And I think before you leave today, you'll have a pretty good sense of what these things are. So let's start with the definition. A polynomial. is an expression that can have constants, variables, and exponents. this in mind when I make a new CD chart after spring break, okay? But I like that you always take care of yourself. Okay, characteristics. We're going to make a list of things that polynomials cannot have. Cannot have negative exponents. They cannot have fractional exponents. And they cannot have infinite terms. So let me give you an example of a polynomial. We, and I'll leave the other two blank because as we go through this, I want you guys to come back and put your own examples in. So a polynomial could look like this. 5x to the third power plus 4x to the second power minus 2x plus 5. We would not have a polynomial with this. Because that has a negative exponent. And Ms. Brian and I are aware that there's things about exponents you guys have not done yet. It's part of eighth grade math and we will make sure that we get it into this unit as like a little mini lesson on exponents. Um, I'm not sure if it'll be before spring break. It'll probably be right when we get back. Okay, so polynomial, not a polynomial. They have special names. Let's use this next. Nausea, after that, we're going to do this. You might want both. So polynomials have names, and they're named according to their degree and how many terms they have. So for instance, this example I made for you guys would be called a cubic polynomial because the highest term is to the third power, and it has four terms, okay? So we're going to get the names down, and then we'll be looking at some polynomials. So. The degree of the highest exponent that's what determines this and I think of this as like they have a first name and they have a last name this is the first name this is the last name so if I have a degree of zero that's called a constant If I had the degree of 1, it's linear. Uh, 
degree of two, which will become real familiar with these soon, quadratic. Degree of three, cubic. Degree of four, who's taken Spanish? You'll start to see some relationship here. Quartic. It's from that same root that we get quattro, right? And degree of five is quintic. If the highest degree in the polynomial is six or higher, that's known as to the nth degree. So whatever the degree is, so if the highest exponent in the polynomial was seven, we would say to the seventh degree. And now for the last names. This is the number of terms. If there's one term, it's known as a monomial. Kind of like our monorail, right? One rail, one term, get it, mono. What is a prefix we use for two a lot in math? Mm -hmm. It is a binomial if there are two terms. Yep, trinomial. So if I have 2x squared, and that's all there is, it's a monomial. There's just one term. If I have 2x squared plus x, two terms, binomial. If there's three terms, it's trinomial. And then if it's four or more, that's when we call it a polynomial. But all of these are polynomials as a group. Many. Poly means many. Okay, next up, as we continue our intro into polynomials, we are going to make a mini book. So I'd like you to have this, and if you did not grab scissors, you're going to need them. 